ClaudeCode just launched custom sub-agents, and I created one to help me pick the best tech stack to use on my next project. These sub-agents can go as specific or as broad as you need them to do. And the best thing is, they are completely customizable. Love it. Nice work, sub-agent. So what are these sub-agents and why are they so helpful? You have probably seen a lot of people creating something similar to an agent inside of Claude itself. I've even borrowed somebody else's ideas and created a, a mini agent using custom slash commands that went off and created n number of UI iterations. But now Claude has given us the ability to create customized agents within Claude code itself using the slash agents command. So what are the main benefits? Well, according to Anthropic itself, each agent will have a specific purpose and an expertise area. This is very similar to if you've ever created a custom GPT in ChatGPT, you can kind of give an agent its own persona. You give it an individual specific job to do, and it just knows its job and can go off and do it. It uses its own context window separate from the main conversation. This is great because it gives you the ability to have almost like a side conversation with this custom agent. It could be about user interface, it could be about testing, it could be about design, it could even be about something like marketing or product definition, really anything you can dream up. And whatever conversation you have with it won't creep into the context of the main project that you're working on. You can configure it with specific tools it's allowed to use. You can customize these agents and literally go through a checklist of which tools it's allowed to use. This includes MCP servers, and you can even specify a broader range, like give it read-only access or give it everything. And of course, reusability. You can create this agent. The subagent definition lives in a markdown file under the .clod directory, and you can put this at either the user level or the project level. But because these subagents are defined inside of a file, you can take this file, you can check it into a repo, you can move it around from project to project or customize it as you need. So for my very first subagent, I decided I needed a tech stack advisor. As we all know, I don't understand front-end development at all, and the back-end development that I think I understand is pretty outdated. So there's a lot I don't know, and there's a lot I don't even know that I don't know. So I went into Claude Code and asked it to create a new agent, and I basically said, you are a, an experienced software engineer, and the user is gonna come to you with a project idea, but won't know necessarily the best kind of tech stack to use. The user won't even know if it should be a website or a standalone app or just a Python script. Your job is to help the user understand what tech stack to use and to explain your choices. You can find these agent markdown files under the .clod directory, and it will either be in your project or your user directory structure, depending on where you specified to create it. Under .clod, you look for the agents directory, and under agents, you'll find a list of any and all agents that you've created as markdown files. So this is my tech stack advisor. It's got the name and then a description with examples. Context, user wants to build something but isn't sure what technology to use. User, I wanna create something that helps people track their daily habits, but I'm not sure if I should make a website or an app or what. Assistant, let me use the tech stack advisor agent to help you determine the best technology approach for your habit tracking project. I didn't put any of this in. Claude did all of this and there's example after example just like this. Then it gives a definition. You are a senior software architect and technology consultant with over 15 years of experience. Your primary mission is to help users identify the optimal technology stack. And then it gives it an approach, questions to ask, the analysis to perform, what kind of QA it needs to do, and finally the goal. This is very thorough. Really all I said was, I need you to be, act like a senior software engineer and tell me what tech stack to use. Claude Code took care of all the rest building this agent. Great, so now that I've got a tech stack advisor, all I need it to do is to advise me. So I went into Claude and I said, I'd like to use the tech stack advisor to help me create a new project. I want the project to create like a little maybe sketch pad that has flowers trailing behind when you draw in it. So the tech stack advisor sub agent went off, thought for a few seconds and came back and basically said, 
given what you told me, here's my recommendations. Uh, here's the platform, the core, the architecture I would use. Do you want me to help you with a basic prototype to get started? Of course I said, yes, he's the expert. I now have a flower sketch pad. <laughs> oh, very nice. I can change the brush size. Uh, great job. Love it. Nice work, sub-agent. All right, so let's create a new agent. With agents command, create new. We're gonna do it on the project level. I'm gonna generate with Claude. And I am going to say, I would like a UI engineer agent to take a look at the, the project that we have so far and make recommendations for best coding practices and sort of usage of the project and recommend any enhancements it thinks might be a good idea. So here's where you get to select the tool usage. You can give it access to everything. You can say, oh, I don't want it to be able to edit. I only want to give it read access. But in my case, I actually do want to give it access to everything because I really need this agent to be an expert. If you happen to have a very specific agent, you can go in tool by tool and give it permissions or take away permissions. But I just wanted to have access to everything. So I'm going to hit continue. Uh, this is all right. This is kind of a fun part. You get to give it a color so you know when it's running and then you can take a look and see what it came up with and confirm and save. All right. So that works for me. And now you can see that I've got another agent, UI Project Auditor. Okay, and if we want to take a look at the agent we just created, we can go into the .cloud directory of the project that we're in. So you can see the UI Project Auditor gives the description, gives some examples and context, and an overall description for this custom agent. And then it goes into what it needs to focus on, what it needs to look at, recommendations, and then some sort of final guidelines. Always provide specific actionable advice with reasoning. So let's give this guy a shot. I'm going to say use the UI project auditor and take a look at this project and see what recommendations for improvement. And we can see our agent in action because we colored it orange so we know it is working. Our agent is back with recommendations, identified some critical issues, security risks, potential memory leaks, and significant accessibility gaps. So it's got a list of top recommendations and suggestions. So we're going to say, uh, can you please uh, change the code based on the recommendations of this agent? Let it go to work. And it's back. We've got a list of the changes that it's made. All right. Does it work? It did mention there was a memory management, so it was going to throttle the uh, flower creation. So I think I'm not seeing quite as many flowers. So I asked it to update the flowers. Yes, much better. More flowers, more better. So that's Claude Code Subagents. Really a, such a simple, elegant fix for so many problems. I definitely will be using a bunch of these in the future to enhance the code in ways that I wouldn't have thought of. This is giving an already super powerful tool even more superpowers. All right, have fun with your agent army. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.